Alrighty, welcome to part two of the USD tutorial, this time with 100% uh, less spaghetti monsters. Uh, so today uh, we're going to look at how do you get USDs out of Unreal. So I've got the Polar Sci-Fi facility in the free content here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So that is... Actually, where is it? Maps. Alright, here's the Polar facility opened. Um... It's supposed to be Earth. Um, looks pretty cool. Gives me some Dead Space 3 vibes. Uh, nice little uh, environment. So we're going to look at how to get this out of Unreal using USD. Uh, I do believe that violates the marketplace agreement, as I think the license is for use in Unreal only, but that's okay. We, uh, we're we going to be... Uh, we don't listen to rules. Um, so... Uh, there is this USD level info, which does have the ability to save out USDs, but it doesn't work, and I'm not sure why. Um, so one other common method of getting USDs out is either right-clicking the map or going up to File here and Export. So I'm going to do the map version, right-click, Export, uh, and this gives us in here USD options. So we have USDC, USDA, and USD. Um, USDA is ASCII format, which will make the file sizes humongous. Uh, I could not... A USD, regular USD is binary format, so the file size will be a lot smaller. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what USDC is. Um, I'd have to look at the USD documentation if I really wanted to know. Uh, otherwise, polar facility map sounds good. Save. Now we have a few options here. We have a uh, meters per unit, so this is... Um, to do with the scale of the map. I'm going to leave it as its default. Uh, our up axes, so uh, most of the Autodesk programs use Y up, Blender uses Z up, Unreal uses Z up, and I don't actually know. I can't remember off the top of my head what Houdini uses. I'm going to keep it as Z up. Uh, we can, we have an option to export only what's selected in that case i'm not uh this is really cool so we have an option to bake out materials what this does is bakes out all the fancy uh unreal material graphs you've made into basic uh diffuse uh, sorry not base into a base color a roughness a metallic and a normal map so a standard pbr format so if i tick that that means we will then also pull all the materials and textures out of unreal and we'll transfer it to our own program as well, which is really cool in my opinion. Uh, we can specify a resolution for that. I'm going to go 2048 by 2048 for that process. Uh, this will increase exporting times a lot, um, but I think it's, it's kind of a cool thing. Um, can use a payload file, which is to do with USDC. I'm going to leave it unticked. Can export active folders. Going to leave that unticked. And we have some options to export sub levels sub layers which i'm going to leave unticked as well now one thing to note is this is not a perfect one-to-one -one quality transfer um so importing and exporting usds out of unreal uh back and forward constantly isn't actually uh is not going to be like a one-to-one -one quality there is going to be a quality loss there in the end so, um, oh, the last thing is landscape bake resolution. So that's, um, you can basically specify a different resolution for landscape textures. I'm just going to keep 2048 with 2048. I'm then going to go ahead and export. Alrighty, now that is finished, didn't take too long. Now, if we have a look in our folder where we exported it, we're going to have this polar facility map, uh, and we're going to have this assets folder, which is then going to contain, um, Keep going in a bunch of usd files that represent all of our meshes and all of our stuff so uh all up maybe that's what usdc is a self-contained usd um all up this is 700 megs that's not bad all right so go ahead and open up your favorite 3d program i'm going to use blender go import usd pull a facility i'm going to change the scale to what it was in unreal which is 0 0.01 i'm going to also make sure we import the usd preview material and go ahead and hit import that imports uh exceptionally quickly uh whoa there we go there we go that imports rather quickly in blender uh we've got some point lights everywhere some uh, some of the animated material. I don't think we're going to get any animated 
textures in here, but what we should get is when I hit material preview mode, we should actually get the majority of the map with its textures. Fingers crossed. Alrighty, and what we have is the complete solar, the complete map uh, with working materials. Uh, I don't think these are like perfect materials by any means necessary. However, they're a good starting point for materials. Uh, if you can see them, I might uh, change that down to 128 or something. Like that. There we go. Yep, so as you can see, uh, a noisy, denoised image, but uh, we've got lights, we've got the sun, we've got our complete solar uh, polar sci-fi scene straight out of Unreal. Now this is obviously not as good a quality as what we had in Unreal, um, and that is again because that it, exporting USD out of Unreal is not a perfect quality match. Um, however, and what I think this represents a really good use case for is a uh, scene block out in Unreal. So I I don't know about other people, but I quite enjoy making environments on Unreal. It's a lot more fun than pretty much anything else. Uh, it has some wonderful tools. And the USD export in 4.27 at least supports exporting uh, instance foliage. Uh, so I think um, it presents a really interesting opportunity to use Unreal to sort of build blockouts and roughs for environments to then refine in a tool such as Blender or Houdini or something else. And I think USD uh, is a really handy option to get that uh, talking happening and to export your scene because, um, you know, one click and we've got materials in uh, Blender exported from Unreal. And I think that is uh, really good because usually traditionally with exporting FBX out of Unreal you don't get materials so you have to manually export all the textures and then hook them back up and stuff but here we've got the textures as well which is really cool and some lights and stuff not that they match up perfectly this lighting doesn't look quite as good as this but it is the Unreal scene which is really cool in my opinion